welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel welcome in today's video we are going to be doing a fall autumn makeup tutorial so if you would like to see how i created this look keep on watching okay guys so we are going to get started i have already greased my face i am now going to be priming my skin i am so excited to film this get ready with me autumn edition i have completely changed my makeup from what i was using in the summertime because now we are in the autumn i don't personally use that much powder as you guys will see so without further ado we are going to get started i am going to be going in with the honey do me up primer this primer is like finished guys i need to go out and get another one so we are simply just going to put this all over my skin because i do like to have that dewy base if you don't know i am someone that does suffer with dry skin so i do need to make sure i have a good moisturized base then going to go in with the fenty baby what you do just simply dampen my brush and blend this out and i'm literally just going to press this in the skin going to be going in with the chanel corrector this is the new one the chanel lee corrector the chanel and mine is in the shade apricot so i actually did do a review on this and i have come to actually i like this color correct like the way it feels on my skin i love the fact that it comes in a brush formula and i have to be obviously you guys can see i do have dark circles but this corrector is so strong that you really can put a lot on and it's able to blend out really well as you guys will see guys can see look how it just oh, the way it just blends out it's just i just cannot get enough of it the next thing we're going to be doing is shout out to my girl savannah she is the one that put me on this paint pot painterly this literally stops the side of your mouth from creasing and i do suffer with that especially if you're eating all you can do is just like add a touch there and then there and then i just let that sit there for a bit so guys we are going in with the og huda beauty foundation you guys know this is my ride or die foundation this is the original one this is the one with the smell this is the first foundation she came out with and i'm in the shade nutmeg this that is 520g in the new shade i am a shade below so i am in the shade coca i think that is 500 i'm not too sure but i know i'm in the shade coca for now when i do decide to repurchase the foundation i will be getting my shade in coca but for now we're using the shade nutmeg and we're going to be putting this on guys this is my foundation ride or die you will never hear me say that i'm changing my foundation or anything like that obviously during the summer i did change my foundation because that foundation is just a bit too heavy to wear in the summer so obviously i'm going to want something more of a kind of powder formula that is lighter and we're gonna blend this out in the shade 
be 60. Thank you. 
he's gonna do. But it hasn't even arrived yet. I don't know what is going on. Okay, guys, so we're gonna set the rest of my face. I'm gonna go in with the Gucci powder. Yes, it is the autumn, guys. So I have changed my powders, like I was explaining to you, because my skin is dry, so I don't really need to add that much powder as we are. As the weather is getting cooler, it's not like my skin is gonna sweat. So for now, I have been using my Gucci powder. powder this is in the shade number nine so the next thing we're going to be doing is adding mascara i'm going to be going in with my clear mascara i'm going to be going in straight in with the waterproof mascara by rimmel london we can dust this powder off as well because it has been sitting there and then i just like to press it in when it gets to my forehead in with the new Fenty palette if you haven't seen my review on this definitely go on ahead and check it out this is the new diamond bomb triple drip and we're gonna be going in with Fenty glow like I was explaining to you guys me personally I do not wear Fenty's highlighters on its own because I just don't think they look good on its own but once you use these shades as like toppers it just makes the highlight sparkle even more of what you've put on before with the added crystals because there's just no Fenty highlighter that is like this that has crystals and they look this good like I just think Fenty Fenty does really good highlighters so we're gonna do the brow bone as well I normally do the brow bone if I'm, if I'm in a good mood guys so the final thing we need to do now is do our lips and first of all I'm going to be going in with the MAC chestnut lip liner <laughs> then 
then we're going in with the charlotte tilbury this is in the shade catwalking this is part of her her new 90s nude collection do make sure you guys go on ahead check that out i have already done a video on that <laughs> Then we're going to be going in with the gloss and this is in the shade 08 stone this is the maybelline one Okay, beauties so that is my autumn for get ready with me i also do use this look when i go to work i absolutely love this makeup tutorial and this look that i came out with today it's definitely something light airy and breezy but it's still giving you fresh face lashes and with a gloss as well i love this look guys i literally wear this look to work every day without a doubt this is the autumn makeup look I go for. I did go for something soft in the crease because I do have a nude lip. As we do get further in the autumn, I am sure this is going to change and I'll probably have a dark lip. You never know. But I absolutely love this makeup look I came out with today. It's just, oh, it's just like fresh face. Not too glam. It's giving glam because of the lashes. Obviously, the lashes are always done. Guys, this is my autumn makeup look. I also do wear this look when I go to work. This is how your girl be looking. So yeah, do let me know if you enjoyed this tutorial. Do make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and I'll definitely be seeing you guys again soon. Bye.